After we had the encounter with Shinjiro, Dusty and I proceeded directly to our next raid. Unfortunately, it was mostly an empty base with some thralls and beasts inside, but on our way back a short time later, we ran into someone that shed some light on the dramatic events that had unfolded earlier. So they're so they're the dudes. This was the team that had raided Shinjiro, the Shadow Wraiths, earlier. We caught the blame publicly while they got away with the goods. We asked if he knew where their main base was, but just like everyone else on the server, they had no idea. So their wheelbase here at the mountains got busted up. Their one by Supremer got busted up. And they've abandoned the one in the, uh, by Supermaru, even though it has advanced uh, stations in it. So. We headed back to base as the raid window was closing. We had about 30 minutes left and didn't have any more targets. We'd also made quite a bit of noise in global chat, so we needed to check our surroundings. I'm about to fucking break this axe off in your thrall's ass if he teleports directly in front of me again. It's like I, I run behind you, right, and I'm trying to lag, but then right when I put in the afterburners, your thrall teleports immediately in front of me. Son of a bitch. <laughs> did you like my combat roll? I did. <laughs> oh god, dude, someone's built up on us. This is not a fucking drill. I'm gonna go up. Yep. I'm gonna drop everything here in this vault. Uh, blow up the tower. If you can. I will do my best. I just checked fucking logs, too. They, they haven't blown in. They haven't heard anything, most likely. No, they have. It was destroyed. Easy. Easy's doing it. Easy was the most toxic clan on the server. They were known to use exploits, and some accused them of even undermeshing. They went around killing people and mocking them in chat with names like Greta Thunberg and naming their pets after racial and sexually orientated slurs. We avoided their attention up until now, but thanks to Shinjiro, we'd landed squarely into their crosshairs. I don't think I have enough for this, but I'll try. Yep, they're blown up. Really wish I had fucking poison. Bombs going off. They'll hear that. They're getting in somewhere. They haven't got into the main room at all. You do you think you should grab what you can and Do you think I should change my change my spec loot all and then go to the other base? I don't think you even need to change your spec, you just loot all, but um, I wouldn't loot everything. I don't know, let's see if we can defend and what they're doing first. I'm coming up now. We had a contingency plan for this in which we would grab our thralls and most valuable items and drink a potion of midnight. We had a bug out base over by the exit of the Jebel Sag dungeon, but we decided that we'd fight first and test our metal against them. They just blew the fucking... bridge. What bridge? Like to get up? Yeah. It's okay. They're shooting me with gas arrows. I got a drone at them. Help me. 
They blew the rest of the bridge right as I jumped. If that wasn't some crazy Michael Bay timing, I don't know what is. He blew the fucking rest of the bridge. There's nothing I can do. I can't get up you to you. You can summon yourself? Yeah. They're down below trying to fucking loot me. They think I died, but I didn't. In my haste to get upstairs, I pulled my bracelet. I thought that the ledge below me would catch my body, but unfortunately it did not. I re-geared and got ready to fight. They're very close. By the fire and smoke particles coming through the wall, I could tell that they were at most two walls away from getting into our base. Despite that fact, we decided to risk everything and go defend rather than give up, bug out, and cut our losses. We knew these people used lag switches and other exploits, but we had too much pride to simply roll over. How'd they get up? We have our elevator too? Okay. Holy shit. Where the fuck are they? They might have run out of supplies. They're gone. They ran out of supplies. We need to bomb their tower very quickly. They're climbing up. They're climbing up the tower right now. How do we get there? I don't know. I need my hammer. Let me see if we have bomb supplies in there. One was trying to kill me. He is not good. He's in the poison. He almost killed me with one shot. The reports were true when we found that even in a 2v1, their lag advantage was ridiculous. He teleported all over our platform, lagging in and out of range. They're glitching around everywhere, dude. I can't hit them. No. We just gotta waste our time for 15 minutes. What I need to do is blow that tower. That's what I need to do. They were like one wall away. They don't know that. Don't say it out loud. That dude fucking, uh, we need to destroy the tower before Ray I'm gets doing to. I'm doing it. I got all these bombs on me. I'm about to jump down. We jumped down the anti-climb to take down the tower before raid time ended. We didn't want them to be able to jump into our base anytime they wanted all week. They could always rebuild it, but it would be safer to remove temptation from them. Somebody's here. Yeah, they're here. They're baiting. Yeah, keep him busy, dude. I killed one with bombs, I think. No, he lives somehow. He's gonna die. Heal up, dude. Got a lot on you. They all knew that. I 
Yeah, there's no way. It's too many fucking people. Yep. Their tower's gone. I'm running. Mission complete. There were more of them than us, but they didn't prioritize the defense of their raid tower. This enabled us to hold them off, as the raid timer was almost over. Shortly thereafter, another group came in to counter raid them, and we joined in the fray to try and take a couple of gear sets, but their lag was just too much to counter. Got him. I wanna see who this is. It's Scotty. Small Gilly, the most toxic member of the group Easy, was relentlessly mocking us as he lagged all over our screens. Despite us outnumbering him greatly, having wiped out the rest of his team, we could not catch him. The only kill I was able to secure was in our elevator shaft, when he couldn't lag away. Cannot see this dude. Cannot hit this dude, he's lagging everywhere. Once raid time was over, we found that we were actually up gear sets, and it had one wall between the outside world and the core of our base. We hopped over into Scotty's Discord to have a little meet and greet before beginning repairs on the base. Hey, what's up, boys? Hey, nerds. Hello. Hey, boys. <laughs> Good showing of the blue team. Dude, those <laughs> British guys are some laggy motherfuckers. We ran into them, uh, we went to raid uh, Dagon and Wild and ran into those guys and decided we'd screw with their raid there too. So this yeah. is the second time we've done that to them. <laughs> that's fucking oh, funny. That's amazing. They went up on a fucking one by one tower as tall as our base and I jumped off that, of yep. it. So we blew it up. I'm pretty sure the ice bridge. You blew it up? Yeah, we, I jumped down with bombs and blew it up while they were on it. Yeah, we, they're, we, were, they're sliding we down were worried there. about it uh, lasting past raid time. So we only had like a few minutes left. So that's why. We ended up losing some sets. Oh, yeah. But if y'all want, uh, I think I have two of your gear sets down in my vault. I can pop them over I'll to you if you want. Bit. What gear set? Uh, two grab? Skelos and uh, two Katanas? Uh, yeah, one Skelos and a Katana, and then I think one of them was actually one of their gear sets, but you're welcome to it. Uh, I ain't worried about it, man. These were southern boys like Dusty and myself, and we got on swimmingly. Allies were forbidden on the server, but we kept them close and were friendly with them for the rest of the wipe. I patched up the base and logged out for the evening, ready for more chaos the next day. I couldn't sleep, so I got on later that night with the intention of farming berserkers and leveling them up, but we'd run into a roadblock. We'd gotten a few berserkers, but for the last two hours none had spawned. The Shadow Race, after griefing the spawn last time, had noticed that we were farming them again and were now griefing it in a new way. They had knocked out the Berserker and dragged him away, who knows where. This prevented it from respawning, so we hung around their base for a while, trying to figure out where they had stashed it, but in the meantime, we made an interesting discovery about their roof. It's all open, dude. And he's in there? No. What the fuck? Is, it, is the Berserker in there? No, it's not. So where the fuck did he dart off to? So he ran by, he had to have run behind his base and gone into the hills. So they're somewhere here in this in this biome on this side. I'm looting everything as quick as I can. They have a chest with a couple of berserkers. An open chest of berserkers? Yeah, dude, they don't lock their shit. You gonna take them all? Oh yeah, already done. Lol. I 
I pulled my bracelet and summoned my corpse back to the base. After dumping off the goods, I went back to see what else I could scrounge up. Did they croak you? No, they can't hit me. I'm doing to him what Shinjiro did to us. Just rushing around and climbing the walls and stuff. They're about to rage the fuck out in chat, dude. He can't get me off the wall, he has no range. That dude said prepare to get raided. LOL. As if they could. I was like, I've never gone deep in Conan. I appreciate the experience. It was one of my journey steps. That's amazing. I screwed with him for a bit, but eventually he stopped trying to attack me, so I just pulled my bracelet and called this a victory. We are doing our best to antagonize them since we couldn't find their main base. We spent the next few days finishing our search of the map for the Shadow Wraiths. We went from the south of Noob River every tree and crevice in the jungle, and the entire frozen north. Even the interior of the volcano. That left two options. Meshing, which I doubted they were smart enough to do, and the exterior of the volcano in some strange, high-up location. With that in mind, I went about getting the Aesir armor from Mounds of the Dead and the climbing boots from the Mountaineer on Fingerfang Rock. It was time to seal the deal on these trolls and find them once and for all. We started just north of the Frost Giant dungeon, scaling up to the plateau above and then beyond, up the rocky and lava-strewn cliffside. It was a long way up, and due to the corruption I had in case we needed to fly, I needed to build here and there along the way. We carefully removed the blocks behind us, just in case we were on the right path, and over 20 minutes of climbing had us near the volcano rim. Found it. Humongous fucking base. It is the mother of God of bases. And there it was. I'd been expecting some tiny little shithole shoved into a crevice, but it was ostentatious and bold, relying on its remote location for stealth. I grabbed my hammer and jumped down to confirm it was them, but we knew it was the moment we laid eyes on it. This is going to be awesome to blow the fuck up. And just like that, we had found our target. After so many hours spent looking, it was in a semi-obvious location. They used teleporters and summoning circles to get back up here, never climbing up since they built it. This made it even more stealthy, and we couldn't wait for the next raid window to hit it. We poked around for a few minutes, but with three of them online, we decided to scout it out at a safer time. Tune in next time for the online raid that will cement this group as the biggest group of cowards I've ever encountered. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.